Let's take a look at whether SiCl4 is polar or nonpolar. This is silicon tetrachloride. So we'll start out looking at the Lewis structure and we can see we have the Si here in the center and then we have these four chlorine atoms around it. The line here, this represents a pair of electrons that shared between the Si and the Cl. So let's take a look at the polarity between an SiCl bond. So this bond right here, if we look at Si, it's 1.90 Cl. 3.16. That's a pretty big difference. So we would expect that these electrons shared in this bond would spend more time with the electronegative element. That'd be the chlorine. So the bond should be polar. That would make the chlorine a little more negative and the Si a little positive. And that's the case for all of these bonds here. We have polar bonds. But overall, is SiCl4 a polar molecule? Does it have a net dipole? Let's try to visualize that. So here's our SiCl4 molecule. The Si that's in the center, the green, those are the chlorines. So if we look at the dipole for each one of these bonds in this tetrahedral structure here, we can see they all point away from each other. They're all pointing in opposite directions following the arrow there. That means the bonds are polar, but overall these are gonna cancel out. Let's look at the molecular surface. So we can see from the surface here, we do have this red here, that's a little more negative, then in the center we have the positive, but because all of these dipoles are pointing in opposite directions, we have a net dipole that's zero. So SiCl4, this is a nonpolar compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether SiCl4 is polar or nonpolar. It is nonpolar. Thanks for watching.